we already downloaded some images to our local hard drive. How to remove them? Let's find out. We did some pulls in the previous videos and I added some images as well to have more. So let's see what we have. Docker images, this is the command if you remember. So we have a couple, right? We have a couple of Nginx's in with the same ID, which means they are exactly the same images. We have more Nginx's with different um, IDs. We also have Trivi, MariaDB, Alpine, HTPD. So, couple of the images. Now, how to remove them? There is a specific command, docker rmi. What means remove image, okay? And before we execute this, let's see what we have here. We have the repository name and tag. Well, generally we can say this is the image name, more or less. With the tag, what is the version, kinda. And also we have this image ID. So, what if I want to remove this for example, nginx latest or simply nginx. Okay, so let's try docker rmi nginx. What will happen? As you can see, here I have the information about untagged nginx latest. Let's see our images. And here, this one latest is no longer present. This means that the tag, the, well, the index, let's call it, we removed from index this tag, okay? We still have the same image because we have still three images with the same ID, which is exactly the same image, right? So we removed just the tag. So let's do the example on the Alpine docker rmi alpine we used exactly the same scenario but now you can see that we have untagged latest untagged the specific mm, layer and also this layer was removed and here we have exactly the same so we don't have this alpine latest anymore but we had only one image only one mm, reference in this index to downloaded image okay that's why now it was removed so if i want to remove all those i need to use RM, uh, docker rmi and i need to provide this id let's try let's see if this will work hmm? what is your opinion you can't because there is too many, um, like a, there is a dependency between those three, right? So we can't just remove them easily. We need to, we need to or remove it one by one or use force. And now with force, it will use. Um, but now we remove this. And as you can see, we untagged three different versions, right? And we removed all underlying and the dedicated layers. Now, please be very careful with this. Exactly because of that, we had a conflict and we had this information for reason. And if you don't understand how your layers are built and interconnected, don't try use force. First, try to understand what is behind and why you have this conflict. So let's see our images. And we don't have any image for Nginx. At least, well, we have still two, right? But none related to the latest version 1.27.2. Now, let's imagine that you have a situation when you have like, a, I don't know, 1000 images and you want to remove them. Doing this that way will be very tiresome. It is possible still, but it will be very tiresome. So let's clear the screen. Let's list our 
uh, images again. So, uh, now what I'm gonna do is I will use a specific approach from Linux and by the way this approach works here on this PowerShell so this is really great. So I have this list. I really what really I need is this list of IDs. How to retrieve it? Is this is very simple. I need to use Docker images dash Q like quiet and I have definitely quieter output and now you can see I have just a list of IDs and I will use this docker images dash Q in order to feed different command okay and this different command will be as some of, of you already imagine RMI so what will happen this docker images dash q will collect this list and feed docker rmi with this list and as you can see those images were removed one by one docker images perfect so this concludes this lesson so now we are able to install docker pull images remove the images and i think it is time now or a little bit later to start running our images as containers so see you next time